Yo, what's up guys? This is Astromax and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. Today I'm gonna pull for Kais. Say, uh, she's very good in Wyvern. Her, uh, her first skill works against the barrier. We've got a guildmate that tested it. Uh, 4000 attack. Kais, 150% uh, crit damage with uh, tier 6 Abyss lifesteal set. And... Uh, on the barrier soul burn first kill, it was something around 25,000 damage, but she has to attack against the barrier. <clears throat> Defense down, attack buff. So, yeah. But I want to use her for uh, the third skill, has. So, yeah, limited banners have 1% uh, chance, 1% drop rate for 5 star hero. So yeah, you have an increased chance when it's not uh, you don't have the PD system, the 121 summons to get the the banner hero. Now it could end up a horror story, or like it's it's all it's all luck. It's all luck. So if I open her up here, the thing is the artifact is actually trash from what I understand. It's just the wording is a bit odd. Chance. 20% chance each, it's between 20% and 40%, so let's say you only pull one, you, you get it to plus 15, you have 30% chance each, so if it's only after uh, the turn of your hero, and if it's not a hero that goes twice, like uh, like Alexa, um, I mean, it's it's just a chance, and the, the crit buff, if it's the normal attack and crit buff, it's going to be 50% attack increase and crit chance going to be... Uh, the crit chance buff is going to be 50% uh, crit chance. But you can't base your stats around that. Like You can't just run a hero with 50% crit chance everywhere and be like, yeah, if you open up in PvP, like you can't do your opener. You're not going to have the buff. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Unless it's like uh, it's a chance at the end of turn of each ally. But I highly doubt it. it it's on the turn of the caster, I'm fairly, fairly certain. <clears throat> all right so that's that's one thing like the artifact i don't like it if you're free to play like me i've been saving up for a limited banner but like there are some four star heroes that i really want so we'll see can do a moonlight summon too maybe i get something there maybe not but let's go I'm gonna start here 487 bookmarks Star. <clears throat> but I want her mostly for PvP. But she has her use in PvE, not only against like uh, enemies that have a barrier, but like yes, on Wyvern you can do a lot of damage, but she doesn't bring any debuff. But you can use her her skill three to uh, do minus two turn on the uh, on the ultimate of uh, of any target. If you can go through the resistance check and actually uh, not get resisted. Judge Kai's it's between uh, zero and uh, three turn cooldown, which is more suited for PvP. Cause it's gonna hit every everyone, but in a boss fight, be it like hunt boss, be it uh, the abyss, be it uh, labyrinth, be it a raid or PvP, it's gonna be two. It's gonna be minus two turn cooldown. So that's really cool. The stealth gives her uh, survival so that's really cool too it's for two turns so you can attack and then you still have uh, stealth for one turn she gets minus one uh, turn cooldown on her uh, second and uh, third skill bunch of damage increase everywhere uh, first first and second and third skill all right so far like no four star what I'm at now, 457. 
can't get one of these. Uh, when it's not limited, like free to play, uh, only a limited amount of chances. It's I could just pull, do all these pulls, and not get a single four star hero and five star hero. Oh, okay, four star. Hero? Ah, artifact. I've got this one. Don't use it. It's for uh, it's for mage. Hmm. It's brutal summoning. Summoning in th these games. It is brutal. Come on, give me Tarnar Guard, not Tarnar Royal Guard. Uh, it's. It, I mean, it's just uh, the memory imprint is just flat. The fans increase. I guess better than nothing. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, hero. Oh. <clears throat> oh, yes. Yes, Infinity Basket. I need that thing. I need that thing. Okay. That was good. That was good. 437. <laughs> I don't want to use Sky Stones. Like, if it was a limited banner, I would go all in if I won the hero. Thing is, maybe there's a limited banner. I don't even want the hero. Like you don't need guys to counter uh, Diane in the arena. I just, I just use Falconer Clurry. She can just like provoke. Okay, talking about Falconer Clurry. Here's a memory imprint right there. <clears throat> Nothing crazy, but these things add up. So, so far, I got two, two four-star artifacts, and uh, what did I do? I had, I needed a three summons to, uh, fr from the last uh, gold uh, transmit stone, so it's been 13. <clears throat> and like, even if I get a five-star hero, let's say, it doesn't mean it's going to be her doesn't mean it's gonna be her it's it's a bit less than two out of uh, three chances to be her because it's she's got 0.8 percent chance to spawn and uh, 0.8 you see and uh, it's 1.25 percent drop rate uh, for the five star artifact it's 1.05 and its drop rate is 1.75 so yeah I could like I could get a five star here. It could be a dupe like Destina or says. <laughs> that one's good. Still needed a, a few if I want to get it to plus thirty later later on. Ah, uh, these are three star. Judged. Can get him for free. Come on, Ugh, give me a four star hero. Come on, game. On daily summon, I got an upgrade from like a normal summon into a four star summon. I use that on Tarnar Guard. I'm used to bad summoning rates, like Summoner's War. So you save up for months and months, then you decide to summon, or you just summon every time you get something. It's just the way it goes. Right now, with what I have, I'm happy. Like, I'm happy with what I got. As a free-to-play player, I'm at a good place. All right, below 400 now. <clears throat> I mean, if you spend money in gacha games, I mean, 
and you could be really unlucky on a really bad streak. Is at some point you're gonna have to be like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stop. It's too much, you know. I'm free to play, so there, there is no loss. But I mean, I'm, I'm. There's some time loss. I could have saved for a limited banner and guarantee get it, you know. I'm going for this. I got, but I got a bunch of DPS heroes already. Sending axe, that's good. What I'm looking for is four star heroes that I can use. There's a. Uh there's Surin, there's uh, Shuri, there's uh, Ancient Sheet. So how many summons now? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do a Moonlight uh, Summon. No bueno, Tiaria rip. Mm -hmm. Come on. So I, sometimes you go through these like super quick. It's all luck. It's all luck. Give me a four star. Thing is, she's gonna be added to the normal hero pool after this. So like, imagine like go all out on it, and then in a few days you're doing your daily summon, and then you pull the hero. I mean, to pull a specific hero that you want out of a daily summon, especially a five star, it's gonna be super low. But yeah, all of the four star in here. Karen is, uh, I think Karen is the one I, I want the most. Karen, Surin, well, Angelica would be really good. Angelica is, is, is so good. I guess I could use Armin. Got Sid already. Like, I've got some good heroes. Lots, yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep on going. Come on, four star, four star, four star. Not asking for too much. Hmm. Imagine it. it you could summon like 10 at the same time, it would go so quick. It would go so quick. That's only summons. Need some gold, need to glow. What are you doing, game? What are you doing? Hmm. Yeah, it's good. I use it before on Tiaria. But like Yeah, four point five percent for a four star hero is is not high. One in uh, one in twenty one. That's uh, that is low. <laughs> Higher than five star. Can't tell you that much. Oh, it's been fifteen minutes of summoning. 
well not only that I've been kind of reviewing the hero at the same time I'll make a more in-depth uh, review of uh, of her <laughs> especially if I can manage to pull her not looking so good so far clearly another memory imprint <clears throat> Okay, four star. Come on, hero. Oh my god. Alright, I guess. I used that, but I got Infinity Bla uh, Basket now, which I'm gonna switch to. These, these artifacts. That's the thing with gacha games. Like, when you've got, like, hero and artifacts and an item and a hero that you can summon, it's, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be super rough. In Summoner's War, it was, it was heroes. There's no items. In Dragalia Laws, it's the same thing. Heroes or items. What am I at now? <clears throat> I mean, it's, go, it's going down, but... Since it's like one summon at a time, it's not that bad. I still don't have Kairos. I it would be really good to get Kairos. Really good. Judged. Jesh has a speed memory imprint. He, he's pretty good for a three star. He's like a hybrid. Continuous healing buff. Oh, four star hero. Let's go. Four star hero. I don't know if, it can, if you can get the upgrade from 3 star uh, summoning animation into 4 star uh, when you do like these banner summons. H had it happen on daily. Oh, Adley. He can be uh, quite good in PvP. Because of this, increased skill uh, cooldown, and uh, skill cooldown is reset when an ally die. Yeah, it's kind of odd. Like you need an ally to die for for it to reset. Like not the enemy. All the saving, all the saving since I started playing. 40, like almost 50 days ago since the global launch. I, I summoned a bit on the Diane banner. It took me like 37 summons or something like that to get her. I was, I was blessed there. I mean, that's, uh, that's the way it goes. Get good luck there and then like, <laughs> might as well stick with the limited summons. As free to play, the, what I'm doing is, is not a good idea. It, it's not smart at, at all. It's not a, it's not a bright move, but I mean, I need to summon at some point. Maybe I get a four star hero that I want. Oh my god! Give me a hero already. Oh, Just artifacts and artifacts. The the worst part is that like you need the duplicate artifacts to to be able to enhance, to limit break it, to to enhance it higher. It's definitely super rough. I'm not going to be able to save up for a limited banner at this point. Nemunas. She's good. You need to get 100% uh, like crit. with Get as much crit damage as possible. And she does damage based on percentage max HP of the target. 30% damage, increased proportional to the enemy's max HP. She 
you can get some crazy numbers against uh, targets that have high health. <clears throat> but yeah, crit crit damage, that's the key. Mokacha got nerfed, buffed, then nerfed. He's got the uh, speed memory imprint. He's still alright. He's still he's still pretty good. I never really built him. Got him to four star max level, but that's it. Then the nerf happened, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna forget that. I'm dropping that project. 252 still. Let's go. Let's go. Four star hero. Kairis, where are you? Where are you, Kairis? Oh my god, really? Why? Don't do that to me. Might do my moonlight at the end. Yeah. I mean, the rate this <laughs> luck is going, maybe my luck's gonna turn around on the moonlight. doesn't feel good at this point I can tell you that much no I want not the royal guard Tarnor guard what are you doing 232 uh, come on I have not used any sky stones to buy covenant bookmarks since the, the game came out but I, I and directly convert sky stone into uh, Common bookmarks in the Christmas event by farming for the chess. What? Equipment inventory? Oh. It took a scepter. That thing is really good. Oh, I got the infinity basket. Yes, yes, yes. Drop that one and work on infinity basket. Just sort this by recent. Got all these crappy artifacts. In case I pull something good. Well, this is really good. This is really good. I want to keep the uh, the other ones. Couldn't use this one. Okay. How much space? Space 14. <clears throat> These boots. It's mainly for the speed. I'm just gonna drop them on Diane for the speed for now. Till I get the Christmas uh, boots. Alright, let's keep on summoning here. Oh. Zero, four star hero, zero. Okay, a duplicate that is good. I gotta get nothing out of all of this. I'm just gonna six star Carmen Rose. I might just six star uh, Yuna first actually. She's uh, she's actually really good for for raid for the fire and light boss. Come on. Mm-hmm. 
Karen would be so good. Karen can do insane amount of damage. <coughs> See Karen almost one shot, Banshee 10. It's like it was like 80% of the health of the Banshee, I think, in one turn. I mean it's on the Korean server, of course. They are three months ahead of us, but still. That's some insane damage. Thing is, she can do skill one. Uh, is it? Yeah. She can use skill two and then get an extra turn and then use the uh, third skill. And like the target is going to have defense down and then third skill is going to deal insane damage. Where are the four stars? So the only really like good thing that I got was infinite basket. I put that on Silk or Yuna. Yeah, I'll just I'll just go all in. I'll just go all in. Just do the smart move here as a free to play player. I'm too far deep in already. Gotta go all in. Carrot. Carrot would be good now. Too much salt. Ugh. <laughs> Let's go. Give me a four star hero, gay. What are you doing? Yeah. She has uh she's fast. She she has fast uh base speed and attack buff. She can defense down as well. Combine defense down plus attack buff in one unit, that's a lot of uh uh damage increase for your team, but there are quite a few attack buffer already in the game though. Oh, it's rough. It's so rough. Hundred fifty-seven. All right, four star hero. Who's that? Coley. Coley. All right, what's her kit? I don't see her in PvP. I mean, it's Assassin Kali is the OP one. Skill with speed. Barrier and stealth. Okay. Skill with, skill with attack and then damage is with speed. Return. Alright, I'm just gonna keep on going here. Whoa, decreased combat readiness three times. One turn stealth though. But stealth, stealth. Interesting. She's interesting. Unfortunately, the wyvern is uh, immune to uh, combat readiness uh, reduction. Oh, yes, okay. Hero, come on, hero. No. Got that one already. So many mage artifact that I have. The only mage I've got is Carmen Rose. I mean, she's she's really good for a three star. Oh yeah. Imagine like right after this, like Luna Banner Limited. Like 
Are you kidding me? Oh no. Not him again. Are already under a hundred. Uh. Farming gold transmit stone. That's all I'm doing right now. <laughs> Just converting one currency into the other. Oh, the upgrade. The upgrade. Come on, give me your hero. Hero. Yes. Oh, lots. Cool. Lots. Increase attack. Healing two turn and increase combat readiness. That's really cool. And then it can it can be a hundred percent combat readiness. Skills with allies max health. He's very good. You can buff the duration too. Five turn continuous healing. Continuous healing is twenty percent. Uh, wait, uh, it's fifteen percent of your health. That's without skill ups. Oh, it's only combat readiness boost, but that's that's really good actually. That, that's actually better. Wow, twenty percent combat readiness. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, his base speed is probably low though. Yeah, I think he has a low base speed because uh, his kit is really good, and he's a four so Okay, I mean, lots and Coley and Infinity Basket. I'm not empty handed coming out of this. It's not over yet. I still have Moonlight Summon. But I got some stuff. I got some stuff. Definitely a brutal start though. Start was so brutal. Like nothing for so long. Nothing for so long. Pretty good starter in, uh, in PvP. 30% combat readiness with stealth and then she stuns with uh, her, her first skill I believe. Or maybe it's from the passive. I think it's the first skill. <clears throat> yeah, so I got an upgrade from 3 to 4 star. 87, wow. Ugh. Just drains your energy just doing these summons. Okay, Carmen Rose. But it's every time, it's 1.25% chance to get a 5 star hero, but it's every time you press the button, every time you do the summon. It's not like, oh yeah, on average, yeah, I'm gonna do like 80 summons and I'm gonna get the hero. No, no. Not how it works. Definitely not how it works. Infinity Basket. It's so far. It's so far. I summoned so many times. Oh, yeah, of course I don't have anything here. So I need to... What is equipped that is not maxed? It says boot. Oh, there's the chest. I don't have too many chests. I guess I'm going to work on that. Hopefully the Moonlight Summon is, uh, <laughs> hopefully it's not, uh, like, really bad. Like an Elson, a Lorena, or a Duplicate. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that's uh, th that's enough for now. I think I have the space now, plenty of space. Back to it. Okay. 15 chances. Only 15 chances. Oh! Oh, yes! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Come on! Do it, do it, do it! Yes! 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 Nice! Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, P. The moonlight brought you to me. Woo! 14 summons left. Oh, I used up pretty much everything. Wow. And I got her. Okay, I got her. <sighs> Alright. Just calming down, guys. So, uh, I did a quick review already on her. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll cover her. That's for sure. That is for sure. Let's finish up with a Moonlight Summon. Let's do it up. Let's do it up. Let's transmit stone. Okay. I never got any four star Moonlight Summon. I've never got a f well, of course, no five star. Arrowell. So I got Arrowell. Actually, the barrier of Arrowell stacks with other barriers. I need to test that out later on. Scales based uh, on max HP. But I mean, uh, I think early game you can use that. I don't know about later. I don't know. Pilots I've got twice. And uh, who else? That's it. So that's three. Okay, I forgot who I got. Uh, Mirsa, I got Mirsa. I got the first three heroes. Uh, three stars. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Come on. No, three star. Come on, God Axe. Give me God Axe. Oh, damn! No way! No way! <laughs> Give me God Axe that he spawns. Wow. Okay, that was really good. That was really good. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna build guys first. I'm gonna get my my fathers, my my five star fathers. I'm almost there, building up the the four uh, the five star. I got the four star built up for the most part. I need to just power up a bunch of two stars, a uh, bunch of three, the two and two three star. Yeah, good, good, good. That's another project for later. Wow, what an ending though. It was terrible start, and then like I started getting like four star heroes. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay, it's there. We go lock it down, lock it down. Oh, guys, look at her. OP. Okay, I'm just gonna lock this stuff for now. I'm free to play. I got a I, lots, lots really good. Lots really good. Coley, Coley, I see some really good potential. Like she, like in the, uh, well, against a boss that is not immune. Interesting, really interesting. Like combat readiness reduction, three, 75% reduction. And she keeps on stealthing like this, this, that's booster survival. Okay, well, whatever about the barrier, but. Then combat readiness reduction again, like more than a hundred percent combat readiness reduction from two skills. Uh, potentially, potentially. Uh, yeah, so she's locked. Another Carmen Rose. It's flat defense, nothing crazy. 
Yep, okay, locking that. That's the first one I get. Still no Kairos, Adley for PvP funsies, maybe one day. Judged. Okay, so. Guess I'll just do that stuff later. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. So glad I, I got her after the <laughs> all the sevens so it took. 72 left. That was a bit over 400 bookmarks. So 80... That was 83 sevens, I believe. Yep. All right, time to work and uh, build her up. Check, check me out. Uh, my next videos, I'll be covering her more in depth. So thanks again for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.